Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and in this tutorial, we are going to create God Rays inside of the Blender's internal rendering system. Um, if you want, I suppose you could say if you want more true and proper God Rays, you could use something like Lux Render or any other rendering outside of Blender's internal one. Um, however, with some adjustment, like what we're going to do, uh, we are going to, you know, give it a little bit more of uh, a tweaking so it doesn't look as bad as, well, anyone who's ever used or tried to make God Rays knows that using the spotlight can have some kind of not really very realistic looking effect. So we're going to try to create as realistic as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my camera to 80, 0, 0, and I'm going to get rid of my cube. And I'm just going to add a plane and scale it up three, then go into edit mode, then select edge select. And I'm just going to scale this up 10 and negative six and create ourselves a nice roof. Now I'm going to create a new plane, scale this one up three. All right, now I'm going to rotate this one 90 on the Y. drag it up. Alright, now I'm just going to bring this up so it connects. And then like in most other tutorials showing uh, God Rays, we're just going to subdivide this. Just to, that should do it actually. Then hit 3. And then I'm just going to randomly select some faces here. Doesn't really matter which ones. Alright, should do it. And I'm going to remove those faces. Alright, now I'm going to select the default lamp that's normally in our scene. I'm going to set it to spotlight. I go to one here. I'm going to click show cone so I know where it's actually being displayed. Let's see. Okay, that ought to do it. Now I'm going to just move my camera into the view and drag it out until we can see all of it. And it's okay about seeing the edges because we're only going to gradually show how we're going to see this effect. Now, in order to use Halo, you can use a ray shadow. Um, if you hit F12, you'll see that we have our Halo and it's shining pretty much everywhere and it looks more like fog. Um, in order to see it like actually shine through properly, uh, we need to use a buff shadow. So we're going to use a buffer shadow and we're just going to use the classical halfway and which is the default and we're just going to adjust the steps um, just a quick start off we're just gonna just use I'm just gonna render this real quick okay so this doesn't look too bad um, as you can see obviously you would want to hide this from the camera because this is where the halo itself is actually coming from and there are a lot of ways we could hide some problems with using spotlights. For example, this right here, where the light kind of bleeds through the object. Uh, one thing we can do is we can enable ambient occlusion. And I'm going to set the fall off to two. And sorry, I went too fast. Uh, if you don't know ambient occlusion, it's in the world, which is the little Earth-like icon. Then you check the ambient occlusion box. And we'll just leave samples at five. And then we'll hit F12. And we will re-render it. Now, obviously, because one of the walls, well, all the walls are basically white, um, it's going to blend in pretty well. Uh, but what we're going to do is we are going to now add in a sunlight. And in this particular tutorial, add lamp, sun. In this particular tutorial, this light is not going to cast shadows, but we're going to use it to add a little bit more color to our environment. And I'm just going to copy all of the rotation values so it is exactly matching our spotlight. Okay. And now, if we were to hit F12, you will see it's a little bit and obviously by that I mean it's just whiter. So, 
I'm going to real quickly assign this material and this other one I will assign the original cube material. Let's jump back over to our newly created one. I'm just going to call this white. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call this one red. I'm going to get rid of the G and B values. And I'm going to create one more. And I'm going to call this one green. But first I'm going to adjust the color. Alright. Now I'm going to edit mode. And I'm going to select the back face wall. And I'm going to assign that one to be green. And left wall, I'm going to assign that one to be red. This will give us a little bit of distinction. So we can actually see you know, what our rays are doing. Sorry, I went ahead and paused that. I figured no one would want to see that render. All right, so now um, let's tweak it a little bit further. Uh, first off, let's have the intensity of our sun. And I'm just going to check sky and atmosphere. And you can tweak all this, but I'm just going to leave it at default. And then I'm going to hit F12. Okay, so you can see now that it, it had a kind of desired effect, uh, sort of. Um, however, what I'm going to do is use edge select and I'm just going to take this out 10. And then I'm just going to bring this down 10. Cool. And I am going to go back into face select. and fix our walls real quick. All right, now the reason I did this was I didn't want us uh, seeing too much of the environment because it was kind of distorting our look of the god race. Okay, so now I think we have the god race set up to, all right, now we just need to make them look a little more pretty. So let's go back into our Halo, and let's set the step to 12, which is the max, and render them. Okay, so as you can see, um, adjusting the step frequency, which is something you'll have to play around with depending on, you know, your scene. Um, and I'm going to have ambient occlusion, sorry. Uh, now we just need to adjust our scene so it's not so bright. Sorry, I forgot to pause there. All right, so you see our god rays look a little bit better. Um, for this tutorial, uh, we're going to kind of conclude it here. Um, you just have to keep playing around with it. Like, you could adjust the spotlight blend, and we'll just render that real quick. All right, so now you can see that our... Sorry about that, vast. Um, so now our god rays are a little bit better. But obviously, this method for creating god rays isn't really the best. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and save this. Uh, save it to our indirect lighting tutorial folder where I just pretty much dump everything. Save as blend file. All right, so as you can see, it kind of gives you know the effect that you want. Um, I suggest keep playing around with it, and you could also enable shadows on your sunlight as well and you could decrease the energy and actually have the sunlight actually cast the shadow and use the spotlight to cast the rays. Um, before we end this tutorial uh, I'm actually going to show you something I'm working on so you can see kind of and I'll have to manually load it. I do not remember where I put it. One sec. Ah, here we go. Intro.blend. Open Blender file. This is something that... Uh, all right, sorry, I had to fix this really quickly. Um, but this is something that I've been uh, working on. Um, it's actually one of the new intros, and you will be able to see... I believe I have the God Ray. Oh, do not. One second. 
All right. I have this one already set up and you can see that. All right, sorry, I just figured I'd stop talking for a second and, you know, render, well, I'll pause it so the render could finish quicker. You can see that with a lot of tweaking, you can actually get the god ray to come out kind of nice, you know, kind of smooth and more realistic looking. Um, however, I do plan to do a Lux render tutorial which will show you how to create proper god rays. Um, okay, so that concludes this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too random for you. If you have any questions, uh, stop by the forums as well. Uh, you can also stop by the IRC and follow me on Twitter as well, also in the description. And you can also grab the blend file there. Okay, so thank you.